Here is Nucida's weekly forecast about the expected post activities in the realms of software quality in the social media channels in week 23 of 2025. Our analysis is based on the social post data of LinkedIn, YouTube, X, and other internet sources released last week and detected dynamic daily changes. I'll leverage the provided web results, which cover software quality trends for 2025, and combine them with logical extrapolation of ongoing conversations in the tech community. The ranking is based on the prominence of topics in recent publications, their relevance to current software quality challenges, and their engagement potential on the mentioned platforms. Each topic's ranking reflects its immediacy, impact, and discussion volume, with reasons for placement and a forecast for future trends included. So, what will be the top 10 hot topics this week? Buckle up and let's start the countdown. 10. Shift Left Testing – Why It's Ranked 10. Shift Left Testing, the practice of integrating testing earlier in the software development lifecycle, is gaining traction on social media and in blogs as teams aim to catch defects early and reduce costs. It's a steady topic but ranks lower due to its established nature with less novelty compared to emerging trends like AI-driven testing. Recent posts on social media highlight its adoption in agile and DevOps workflows, with blogs emphasizing its role in improving software quality by fostering collaboration between developers and testers. My advice? Incorporate shift-left testing by embedding automated unit and integration tests in your CI-CD pipelines. Encourage developers to write test cases alongside code using tools like Junit or Selenium. Pair this with code reviews to ensure quality gates are met early. This approach reduces rework and accelerates delivery, especially in fast-paced environments. Forecast for 2025-2026, shift-left testing will remain relevant, but evolve to integrate more AI-driven tools for test case generation and defect prediction. By 2026, expect tighter integration with low-code platforms enabling non-technical team members to contribute to early testing, further democratizing quality assurance. 9. Test Data Management TDM, Why It's Ranked 9. Effective test data management, including synthetic data generation and data privacy compliance, is a recurring topic in blogs and on social media, driven by increasing regulatory pressures like GDPR and CCPA. It ranks lower because it's a niche aspect of software quality, but discussions highlight its importance in ensuring realistic and secure testing environments, particularly for AI and cloud-based applications. My advice? Invest in TDM tools like Delphix or Informatica to generate synthetic data that mirrors production environments while ensuring compliance. Establish clear data governance policies to manage access and anonymization. Regularly audit test data to align with evolving privacy regulations, reducing risks of breaches during testing. Forecast for 2025-2026. TDM will grow in importance as AI and big data applications demand diverse, high-quality data sets. By 2026, advancements in generative AI will streamline synthetic data creation and will see increased adoption of privacy-preserving techniques like differential privacy in testing workflows. 8. Performance Engineering – Why It's Ranked 8. Performance Engineering, focusing on optimizing software for speed and scalability, is a hot topic in blogs and on social media, especially for cloud-native and microservices architectures. It ranks mid-tier because, while critical, it competes with more transformative trends like AI. Recent discussions emphasize tools like JMeter and Gatling, with companies prioritizing user experience in high-traffic applications. My advice? Adopt a proactive performance engineering approach by integrating tools like New Relic or Dynatrace into your development pipeline. Simulate real-world loads during testing and monitor performance metrics in production. Collaborate with architects to design scalable systems, prioritizing low-latency APIs, and optimize database queries. Forecast for 2025-2026. Performance engineering will gain prominence as edge computing and 5G drive demand for ultra-low latency applications. By 2026, AI-driven performance optimization tools will automate bottleneck detection, 
and serverless architectures will push performance engineering toward event-driven testing. Seven, accessibility testing, why it's ranked. Seven, accessibility testing, ensuring software is usable by people with disabilities, is trending due to growing legal and ethical pressures, as seen in social media conversations and blog posts. It ranks mid-tier because it's a specialized area, but its visibility is increasing with regulations like WSAG 2.2 and ADA compliance. Companies are sharing case studies on inclusive design, boosting its relevance. My advice? Integrate accessibility testing early using tools like Axe or Wave to identify WCAG violations. Train teams on inclusive design principles and involve users with disabilities in usability testing. Automate accessibility checks in CI-CD pipelines to catch issues before release, ensuring compliance and broader user reach. Forecast for 2025-2026, accessibility testing will become a standard requirement as global regulations tighten. By 2026, AI-powered tools will enhance automated accessibility checks, and immersive technologies like AR-VR will introduce new accessibility challenges, driving innovation in inclusive design. Six, continuous testing in DevOps, why it's ranked. Six, continuous testing, a cornerstone of DevOps, is widely discussed on social media and in blogs for its role in enabling rapid, high-quality releases. It ranks higher due to its integration with CI-CD pipelines and its necessity in agile environments. Recent posts highlight tools like Jenkins and GitLab for automating testing, reflecting their critical role in modern development. My advice, implement continuous testing by automating unit, integration, and regression tests using tools like TestNG or Cucumber. Integrate testing into your CI-CD pipeline with platforms like CircleCI to ensure every code change is validated. Monitor test coverage and prioritize flaky test resolution to maintain pipeline reliability. Forecast for 2025-2026. Continuous testing will evolve with AI-driven test orchestration, enabling smarter test prioritization and execution. By 2026, expect tighter integration with observability tools, allowing real-time quality insights across the DevOps lifecycle, especially for microservices and serverless applications. Five, security testing and DevSecOps, why it's ranked. Five, security testing embedded in DevSecOps is a major focus due to escalating cyber threats with blogs and social media posts citing a projected $10 trillion in cybercrime costs by 2025. It ranks high because of its critical impact on software quality and user trust, with discussions around tools like OWASP Zap and Snake gaining traction. My advice, embed security testing in your development pipeline using tools like Burp Suite for vulnerability scanning and Snake for dependency checks. Adopt a zero trust model and conduct regular penetration testing. Train developers on secure coding practices to reduce vulnerabilities early, aligning with DevSecOps principles. Forecast for 2025-2026. Security testing will remain a top priority as AI-driven attacks grow more sophisticated. By 2026, quantum computing advancements may introduce new encryption challenges, pushing the adoption of post-quantum cryptography and testing. DevSecOps will also integrate more tightly with compliance automation. Four, low-code, no-code testing, why it's ranked. Four, the rise of low-code, no-code platforms, projected to reach a $65 billion market by 2025, has sparked discussions on social media and blogs about ensuring quality in citizen-developed applications. It ranks high due to its democratization of software development, but it's not at the top, because it's a subset of broader testing trends. My advice, use automated testing tools tailored for low-code platforms like Mendix or OutSystems to validate applications. Establish governance frameworks to ensure citizen developers follow quality standards. Combine manual and automated testing to address the unique challenges of low-code environments, such as configuration errors. Forecast for 2025-2026. 
Low-code, no-code testing will expand as these platforms grow in enterprise adoption. By 2026, AI-driven testing tools will simplify quality assurance for non-technical users, and vendors will embed more robust testing capabilities into low-code platforms, reducing quality risks. 3. AI-driven test automation. Why it's ranked. 3. AI-driven test automation is a dominant topic on social media and in blogs, fueled by its ability to generate test cases, predict defects, and optimize testing. The global AI market's projected growth to 243.72 billion in 2025 underscores its impact. It ranks high due to its transformative potential, but not at the top because it's still maturing. My advice, adopt AI-powered testing tools like Testum or Mabel to automate test case creation and maintenance. Leverage AI for predictive analytics to identify high-risk areas in your code base. Combine AI with human oversight to ensure test relevance, as over-reliance can lead to false positives or missed edge cases. Forecast for 2025-2026, AI-driven testing will dominate as tools become more sophisticated, incorporating generative AI for dynamic test scripts. By 2026, expect AI to handle end-to-end -end testing workflows, including performance and security, with increased adoption in regulated industries like healthcare and finance, 2. Quality in Microservices Architectures – Why It's Ranked 2. Testing microservices is a hot topic due to their complexity and widespread adoption, with blogs noting a 20% reduction in time to market for companies using microservices. Social media discussions focus on tools like Postman and Pact for contract testing. It ranks high because microservices are central to modern software, but it's not number one due to AI's broader impact. My advice, implement contract testing and service virtualization to validate microservices interactions, use tools like Jaeger for distributed tracing to monitor quality in production, design tests for failure scenarios as microservices distributed nature increases the risk of cascading failures, ensuring robust system reliability. Forecast for 2025-2026, Microservices testing will grow more complex as serverless and event-driven architectures proliferate. By 2026, AI-driven tools will automate microservices testing, focusing on inter-service dependencies. Observability platforms will also play a larger role in ensuring quality in distributed systems. 1. Ethical AI and Bias Testing Why it's ranked Number 1. Ethical AI and Bias Testing top the list due to their critical importance in ensuring fair and reliable AI systems, a major focus on social media and blogs. With AI's projected $243.72 billion market in 2025, discussions emphasize frameworks like AI Trism for addressing bias, privacy, and transparency. Its ranking reflects its societal and regulatory impact, as well as its urgency in quality assurance. My advice? Integrate ethical AI testing using frameworks like AI Trism to evaluate models for bias and fairness. Use tools like Fairlearn or Equitas to assess datasets and model outputs. Engage diverse teams in testing to identify blind spots and document compliance with ethical standards to build user trust and meet regulatory requirements. Forecast for 2025-2026 Ethical AI testing will remain a top priority as regulations like the EU AI Act tighten. By 2026, automated bias detection tools will become standard and testing will expand to cover generative AI's ethical implications, particularly in content creation and decision-making systems. Forecast for emerging topics in 2025 and 2026. Looking ahead, several trends are poised to shape software quality discussions. 1. Quantum Computing Testing As quantum computing matures, testing quantum algorithms for reliability and performance will emerge, driven by advancements in quantum hardware. 2. AR-VR Quality Assurance With the AR-VR market projected to reach $58.1 billion by 2028, testing immersive applications for usability and performance will gain traction, especially in gaming and healthcare. 3. Sustainability in Software Quality 
Sustainable software practices, like optimizing code for energy efficiency, will rise as environmental concerns grow, aligning with web sustainability trends. 4. Zero Trust Testing As zero trust security models expand, testing for continuous authentication and authorization will become critical, especially in cloud and edge environments. 5. Human-Centric Testing Testing for user experience, including emotional and cognitive impacts, will grow as software becomes more integrated into daily life, particularly in AI-driven applications. These topics will likely dominate discussions by 2026 as technology evolves and societal expectations for ethical, sustainable, and user-focused software intensify. Hopefully this video gives you additional insights. What do you think about the hot topics this week? Write your views in the comments section below. In terms of further questions, feel free to write to us. We will analyze all important internet channels and release our analysis report every Monday. Follow or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and know more than your competitors. Happy testing and see you next time.